Hello, Bush Elementary School. This is Mrs. Benson with your daily announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we're going to say the Bush School Pledge. As a twister, I am respectful, I am responsible, I am safe, therefore I am peaceful. Thank you. Today is Monday, May 13th. Today for lunch we are serving grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup, or breaded pork chop, or the ham and cheese sub, or PB&J, or the yogurt fun box. Our veggie choice is french fries. This is Miss Cicero. And Mrs. Peterson. And we have the following birthdays to celebrate today. If you see our friends, Mary Jane Estes, Barry Matson, or Miss Rachel, please wish them a very happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday! A special shout out goes to Miss Walter's class, who earned a good behavior class party with a surprise ice cream treat. These students displayed respectful, responsible, safe, and peaceful behavior, and therefore deserve to be celebrated. Great job, Miss Walter's class. The Chautauqua County Humane Society. Ah! Our mission at the Chautauqua County Humane Society is to improve and save lives through compassionate care, advocacy for animals, and commitment to the community. CCHS helps a wide variety of animals. What happens when an animal comes to CCHS? Hi, I'm Molly from the Chicago County Humane Society, the licensed vet tech care and staff. This is Squeaks. He's currently recovering from whatever was going on in his world before he came to the shelter. So in processing of the animals when they come in, we make sure that they're healthy, they receive their vaccines as they can, their wormers, their topical medications for flea control, just to keep them as healthy as we can for the shelter. Um, as soon as they are done with that, if they're too small, little itty bitties, they go see Justin, our foster program, and they get to find lovely, loving homes for temporary to allow them to grow and to be able to get up for adoption. After they go in through our surgical procedures, they do have a bottom weight they have to make for both dogs and cats to ensure that they're healthy enough to go in for surgery. Foster. Hello, my name is Jessica and I'm the foster coordinator here at Chautauqua County Humane Society. And as a foster coordinator, what I do is when these babies come in, and they need to find a temporary home to grow up in and to find out what love is. So that way when they're old enough and big enough, they can find their forever families. Um, I do this job because I absolutely love to see how much these guys grow, especially when they first come in and they're probably really tiny. And then by the time that they leave for their forever homes, they're nice and big and healthy. And it's just really amazing to see them find their forever homes. Uh, this is my friend Bluebell, and Bluebell is one of our patients here in the clinic. Take a look over here. My job is to schedule all of our community clients who are looking to have their pets spayed or neutered. And then when Amanda is done scheduling them, we bring them in in the morning, and we do their surgeries during the day and send them home in the afternoon. And I do all the surgical anesthesia and any medical care that we need to do for the pets while they're here for those clinic clients as well as all of our shelter staff, shelter animals, and all their spay neuter needs that they have and any other medical issues they may be having that we have to treat for. Like Miss Bluebell who's having was having a kidney type issue, which we're getting her past that, and hopefully soon we'll be able to get her up for adoption. She is one of our foster mommies, so she has weaned her kittens and now it's just all about her. Oh, you can go. 1,823 animals were spayed or neutered in 2023 at CCHS. Animal Care. Hi, I am Kelly Johnson and I am the Animal Care and Facilities Manager here at CCHS. And my role here is to take care of all the animals. Um, we, 
I have a staff of seven and we take care of all the animals here. Uh, we do all the medicating. Um, we do laundry and dishes and walk dogs. We do a little bit of everything. Um, and as far as the facilities part goes, as um, if anything is broken, I make sure it gets fixed. Um, just a little bit of everything, kind of ordering foods and all kinds of things. Um, these two guys here just came in, so we are uh, back here socializing with them, which is a big part of our job too, making sure that everybody is getting a little attention during the day and not just stuck in their kennels. Behavior. Hi everyone, so I am Allie. I am our behavior supervisor and program manager. So what that means is I take care of our dog's mental health. So I make them feel happy here. I help them feel safe and loved. Um, we work with them every single day so that they can be the good dog in your home. Um, we work to make sure they don't jump on people, that they don't knock them over. Um, we also make sure that they don't pull too much on walks. Overall, we just try to make sure that they're happy and healthy while they're here at our shelter. Um, we also work with kitties a lot too. We do the same exact thing. We try to make sure that they feel safe here with us. Um, we give them hidey holes and toys to play with. Um, and overall, just try to make sure that they are feeling loved by their here. Adoption. Hello, my name is Patty and I am the Adoptions and Admissions Lead at the Chautauqua County Humane Society. And we are uh, find homes for animals and we also help uh, bring animals in when it is needed. Um, so if anybody wants to come in to adopt, they just have to come to the front door. We will have a great conversation, see what they're looking for, and then we match them up with a cat or dog. Uh, owner surrenders or just surrenders. Uh, we help people who find animals, who um, can't take their animals with them, and we just try to help um, bring the animals in so we can find them another great home. Okay. Thank you. Finding homes for animals is what we do at CCHS. In 2023, CCHS found homes for 759 animals. And as always, we're looking for our students to be respectful, responsible, safe, and peaceful so that we can see every child learning every day. Have a great day, everyone.